Right, hi there. This is a box box lesson just for the guys who miss box box in class or want to have a little bit more revision of box box. Uh, it should just be a quick five ten minute video just to kind of get you up to speed. Now, I'm going to start just by looking again at the five figure summary. Okay, so we've got list of numbers here. Remember a five figure summary. Lowest value, highest value, and then the three quartiles. So in this one here, really obvious. Hopefully that that's your lowest value. Your highest value is seven. And then if you're looking for your median, first of all, split into half. Your median is going to dip be in between the two and the three, so 2.5. Uh, your lower quartile is going to be the median of your bottom half, so those four numbers, in between the two and the two, so just two. And then similarly, the upper quartile, the median of those four, in between four and four, so just four. Now, five figure summary, very useful, kind of shows you how the data is spread out. It actually, it's not that useful to look at. It still is just a list of numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a visual representation of this, these numbers to kind of make it a bit easier to analyse. So we're going to use a scale, just a normal scale like a graph or a ruler, just going up in numbers, no gaps. Uh, so you can see how the data is spread. And every one of these in the five-figure summary gets their own line. So the lowest, the lowest, lower quartile, median, put on that middle line, uh, upper quartile, and the highest value gets put on as a line, and then you join it up like so with a box around your quartiles, and then these whiskers at the end. Okay, now already you can see much more visual impact about what's actually happening in your data. Remember that our quartiles split our data up into quarters, so it shows you the lowest quarters down here. Your middle 50% is in there, and your highest quarters up here. Now, it's really impactful because it shows you like that first half, this is your median, the first half of data is squeezed in between 1 and 2.5, but the top half is actually much wider, spread out, okay, so it's much more useful to see and also to compare. Okay, now, what I'm going to get you to do, can you copy that into your notes? Okay, so that slide there, take, pause the video and copy that into your notes. Thank you. Now, we're going to look at a couple of things now. Uh, next couple of slides do not need to be in your notes. I'll tell you when you've got to put that, uh, the next, what slides you're going to put in next. But I'm going to look at a couple of examples just with looking at box plots and using them to compare because that's what they are really useful for. Okay, so the next one, this, again, just kind of briefly talked about that a second ago, is comparing, uh, being able to show that middle 50%. Remember we spoke about it when we're talking about our five-figure summary and our interquartile ranges. Uh, that middle 50% in that box excludes all the extreme data and just lets you look at the bang average stuff there. Okay, so 25% at the bottom, there's your middle 50 with those two 25% and then 25% at the top. Okay, now here we've got two different box plots. Uh, looking at it visually, it's uh, comparing marks in paper 1 to marks in paper 2, and you can see straight away that. This one's more spread out, this one generally is lower. Okay, so we're going to make comparisons. Now, as standard with our stats, we're going to make two comparisons. One comparing our average and one comparing our spread. Okay, so we've got different values for average, mean, median, mode. This one, we're talking about median. Now, remember, really important, that middle line is your median. Okay, so there's your median for paper one, there's your median for paper two. So median for paper one, about 66. Median for paper two, about 49. Okay, so what you can say there is the median for paper one is higher. Therefore, on average, the marks are higher in paper one. Pupils achieve more marks in paper one. Okay, so there's your average comment. The spread comment, you're looking at stuff like range, semi-interquartile range, and standard deviation. In this case, We've got our box that represents our interquartile range. Okay, it represents the distance between your quartiles. So you can see straight away, paper two, that interquartile range is much smaller than the interquartile range up here. Okay, so you can see paper two has a smaller interquartile range, therefore the marks in paper two are less varied. Okay, or looking at it from another way, the interquartile range in paper one is bigger, therefore the marks in paper one more varied. Okay, so it's having your standard averages comment and your standard spread comment. Okay, now the next slide, this slide here, 
that's just an example. I want you to have that in your notes under the title example. Complete the box plots for each of the following sets of data and use it compare the speeds. Okay, so draw the box plots and also compare after. And I want you to draw them both on the same scale, like this question here, like the scale at the bottom, have both box plots on the same scale. It makes it much easier to compare. So pause the video now, have a look at that. Perfect, thank you. Now, with these ones here, team one, we're looking for the five figure summary so we can draw our box plot. So the median is going to be in there, lower quartile and upper quartile in here, lowest value and highest value, obviously, where they are. So the quartile one, 34, and quartile two and quartile three, as shown. Team two, same idea, and that's what your data should have given you. Okay, now drawing your box plots on the scale. Scale is not the best drawing, but yours is going to be a little bit nicer. You've got your two box plots going on like that. So your box plot should look like that. And that's what it should kind of show you. Now, there's a couple of things to note from the ski teams. First of all, you can see in general this is boxes bigger, more spread out. The median's a lot more high. Your data, the bulk of your data is higher than the bulk of your data down here. There is somebody who's fastest in team two. But in general, that middle 50% is at a lower place than that 50%. So in general, although that's kind of edging to the left here, and this is edging to the right, these ones are going to be a bit better because most of their 50% are further up than this 50%. Now, officially or properly, your two comments are going to be, well, the median here is higher than the median here. So team one has a higher median. Therefore, on average, their skiers are faster. That's your first averages comment, comparing medians, same what it means. Team 1 has a higher median, therefore on average their skiers are faster. The second thing you can look at that box, that interquartile range, is much bigger than the interquartile range down here. So you can see Team 1 has a higher interquartile range, therefore the speeds of the skiers are more varied. Or again, looking at it from another way, Team 2 has a lower interquartile range, therefore the speeds of the skiers are less varied. Okay, now that's two comments you should be making for these two get full marks. Okay, and that's actually just about it. Okay, the last thing I'm going to put up is just that slide there. We talked about it when we were looking at the five-figure summary, but if you do not have that in your notes, can you please get that in your notes now? Now that's the last thing I'm going to talk about. If there are any questions, just come and see me, ask me anything you can ask, we'll talk through it and try and get you better. Thank you very much.